Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Erwin, and welcome to my uh, re -re review of Elementron. Now, I'm doing this review once more because of, uh, first of all, the original review was, uh, of course, uh, had an ish had a problem. I'll explain that in my blog. So we will be redoing this thing because I'm going to explain a little bit of the figures right here. And I've done some few alterations right here. I will mm, get to that. First, we have Sick Lab. Sick Lab here is a mm, white SUV with a mm, red flame decals. Now to transform him is uh the active it's very very simple. He's just a very simple photobot, mm, you know what I mean. In order for you to get Elementron you have to get the very first photobot playbook. I mean uh, I have a, mm, a version there on my blog, but at the full box blog, but uh, it's mm, based off their original magazine version. So, fold out the feet, back, and you have the clap in full box mode. As you can see, he's uh, basically the most common kind of mm, box he has into it. But of course, I I'm going to talk about the other ones that are based on his. Uh, body scale. You also got Tikbalang. Now, Tikbalang recently became a Ludobot, if you check out the comics recently. And of course, Nuno, which is also known as Nusho right now, is mm, of course a Honda Jazz mm, car, uh, coupe, whatever. And of course, you also have Patol, Vitak, uh, and uh, uh, keep Latin. So, next up we got Tutu B, the rescue helicopter. Tutu B right here is the uh, <coughs> high flying member of the elemental box. And the first uh, yeah, flying one. Even before Ciclo came along in the original series. Tutu B was uh came around uh, after C Club. So simple transformation of course. Now we don't know why, but uh he has this no simplest transformation right here. I know I didn't fold the arms but mm, that's part of the gimmick. And you also have noticed that there's some designs right here. So that's Toto B right here. Now, moving on, we got Ukai. Ukai here is the uh, yellow excavator. Now, I've noticed, you've noticed in the original one, I mm, had a mm, large uh, connector, large hole right here. I've mm, reduced that one. Because uh, of I want to make it a lot more sleeker than usual. It's purpose you can move these um move this bucket arm right here because uh, of course it's detachable. Now transformation is very very simple of course. Fold the pull these arms out. Notice there's a hole in there you can put the arms inside. Fold the feet and this one right here. Uh, okay. Now these back pieces right here are also meant to be supporting parts, but these are originally meant to like uh, replicate rear mm, rear treads. Mm. You can also mm, like uh, put this mm, shovel on like this, and voila. Now mm, stability pro. This is Ukai as the big guy right here. So, 360 view of this. There you go. Now, 
that's just one of the alterations I did. Next is Alon and Agos, the the cargo vessel slash ship. Now, this is basically uh, based off the uh, their original toy, which didn't have a uh, a a roof piece or canopy piece. So that uh, distinguishes that this is that part is Agos. The one I can remember is, uh, it was from the, uh, uh, from the, from the metallic version, the metallic version of, of the, the elemental bots, which came alongside with the individual for the bots, which you have to collect all five to get Metrotran, Met the big guy. Now, I've also done some alterations right Ah, uh, excuse me. Now I've also done some alterations right here. I see, I've um, cut it slits on these. Uh, so when you connect them together, it's um, a little easier to connect. Let's see, and like uh, usually you have to scrunch it to put them in. I've than that. So transformation for Alon and Agos is barely the same. Barely the same. Now I've actually uh, pulled out the head of cut it out the head so you can tuck this inside uh, the when forming the limbs because originally it was supposed to b uh, be exposed and that's kind of awkward. I don't want a robot that has a ro I don't want a guess out that has some faces sticking out like so. So that's Alan right there. And for Agos. So. Now I've done some alteration too. I've mm, tucked the head inside uh, instead of mm, leaving it out uh, so it mm, can just be distinguished from the uh, Either way, Alan and Agos can be the front or back. <coughs> and notice I have also written so, uh, uh, another fist design so it doesn't look like he has two right hands or uh, feet. Or. Okay, so that's Agos right there. And as you can see, we got the full full team right here. So what's next is to connect combine them together to form Elementron. First we do Siklab. Siklab oh. if you don't know how it looks, let's look at the Alan. Now I'm just going to make it short and I'll show it to you all how it looks. Of course I'm not doing Agos because they're the same. Now, to the combine combination, uh, okay. to the combination, let's do Ciclab first. Ciclab, you have to reach out to this uh, rear piece right here, rear part right here, and pull the connector. Now, on early Foldabot toy books, most of the combiners have these. Uh, connectors. I believe that this, these were like a uh, Gigantecron from Toy Book 2, Elementron from Toy Book 1, Aquaticron from 2 as well, and Gubatron from 3. And uh, more recently you got Magmatron which also had um, connectors like that. Oh yeah, I forgot Sortron and Yellowtron which came out in 5. Hmm? Nowadays, combine gasolds are now using paper clips to connect as arms. Now, on my system, I use the sleeve system, which is a lot more better than the old than the old way. Less use of paper clips, that is. And now here is uh, Ciclab in its arm mode. So, 
than this side. Doodle B is almost the same way. Pull this out. Pull it. Now I'm going to leave this uh, right here because you'll have to insert the arm, the handpiece, because there's a slit and you'll need to place right here so it now forms a hand. That's two arms. Now for Ukai, he forms the body, the main torso of um, element one. Now, originally I did, I kept this bucket and part and, uh, like this, but now I'm going to do an alteration so it doesn't mm, fall off like so and keep it a little stable. So, tuck the arms. You have to also mm, tuck the legs. That's also important. And now you also have to detach the bucket. Usually you have to like uh, hang it down in combined mode. Sometimes you have to flip it, it like this, so it mm, looks something like this. Looks like it has a stiff. Mm, now dual purpose. The uh, the mm, shovel arm is also a uh, a weapon for Elementon, which we never seen him use it in the in his first battle with Lu Show. Yes, Lu Show, not Lu Show. Lu Show is uh, the uh, embodiment uh, sort of. Hmm? So here's how I do it. You have you see these two little slots, and you see these two parts right here. These can also go together. So what you now have is a uh, more compact looking uh, bucket and part backpack like this. Uh, now for Alan and Agos, it's barely the same. I mean, barely the same for both of them. You just have to. Fold him, like, fold him like this. Uh, mm, fold these, uh, like like this, and boom. That's the leg. But uh, the alteration I'm doing right here is, if you ever cut the uh, the outline, the, the the these part right here to separate the head from this part right here, you can now do like this. You can now hide the head like this and uh, take note you'll now end up with a uh, with a hole on the foot instead of a face it's kind of awkward that way you also forget to like uh, fold the uh, fold the feet same goes for the agos uh, now I'm so happy I'm doing the uh, doing this review again. So so the fans would know what's going on and why did I uh, have to re re redo, redo the review again. And now let's do the combination. First, you have to mm, connect mm, Alon and Agus as the feet. Mm. Now, usually you have to pull these uh, feet out in, in combined mode. That's uh, that's optional. But uh, what I always do is to tuck them inside like this. So you'll notice that there's no no feet in right here. Now, next let's mm, take the club. And uh, if you hadn't done this mm, thing right here, yeah, it's a little harder to put, to insert the connectors. So yeah, all you have to do is to fold this uh, like this, fold the connector like this, and insert it uh, carefully. Got it. So you also need to like uh if you want to make it a lot more less floppy, 
you can actually uh, place the thumb on the on one of the legs on the legs so we're halfway we're almost done for Toto B it's almost it's the same now the only problem with Toto B when you actually uh, com connect them connect him with element on like this you will end up with a shorter left arm but that's a kind of proportional this way but if you would notice that Toto B is a little shorter than the club so let's uh, adjust him like this I've been folded apart right here as you can see closely mm -hmm. I've been added a fold so he becomes a more longer arm so that's the case to make him more proportional than usual now now what's missing what's missing what's missing ah it's missing just the camera because it's a little bigger now it's a uh, fully combined now uh, uh, can't even adjust the camera so about the gasol head right here this thing right here I'm also glued in the uh, rear the top part so it mm, doesn't mm, go huh, and it becomes more stable all you have to do is to place them on top of the head and uh, there you have it element on now element on right here is the first ever v v full all vehicle gas in the photobot mm, series it uh, is composed of four mm, vehicles that represent the four different elements fire, air, earth, and water. The other. Mm, there are more recent gas ups mm, that have all vehicles in it, like uh, uh, Commutatron, uh, Contolion. The Ludabot Diadrone, so. Botron and the Sporticon. Yeah, I can remember that. And, uh, and of course, Malvin Roy Orensis, Magmatron, Stormacus, and the uh, Thrustinator. So these eight others were fairly the same as Elementron. They're all vehicles. But mm, the only. Uh, Combiner in the series that are mixed, uh, both uh, both organic and both or organic, which is animal or mm, humanoid kind of thing, and uh, half vehicle, which is Gigantron. Gigantron is the only hybrid kind because uh, you'll need uh, the four mm, mythical creatures. In that set, uh, Aquaticron uh, and others uh, were now were considered as all organic or all animal. And the upcoming Zootron is also organic, so, so that's uh, the case right there. And uh, thank you for all that mm, less than 500 mm, views and. Uh, a bit of likes huh, on that, the original video and uh, I hope the uh, new video I made for you will do very well and uh, be sure to share this on your on social media be sure to be sure to use the hashtag for the bots and uh, be sure to like uh, subscribe to my channel and um, We'll see you next time. Till then, this is Erwin from the Fullbots blog. See you later.